20-year veteran is being remembered tonight for his service, not just as an officer of the law, but his outreach in the community. Tonight, one family says Officer St. Laurent changed their lives forever. News Channel 5's Dan Corcoran is live in Jupiter tonight with their story. Dan? Well, Kelly and Jay, certainly a somber scene here at the Jupiter Police Department tonight. If you take a look behind me, you can see the ceremonial black bunting. And that is, of course, a sign that this police force has lost one of its own. If you take a look at the ground here outside the department, you can see flowers, cards, and candles. There are signs here and around this community of an officer's lasting legacy. It's often said that home is where the heart is. It's eight of them, actually. You know, it's four on this side, four on this side. In this Jupiter neighborhood, eight homes, all with a piece of the lasting legacy of fallen Jupiter police officer Bruce St. Laurent. Thanks to him, their houses. Joaquin Carrillo, his wife Angela, and two kids live here, just off Center Street, in one of eight Habitat for Humanity homes that Officer St. Laurent had a big hand in building. We now have a roof over our heads and something to remember him by that he was here. It was in 1996 when St. Laurent dedicated much of his time and his energy to giving back to those in his community. Habitat for Humanity and St. Laurent gave families like this a place to call home. He helped build these houses and I mean we'll all have his memory but it's not the same. Joaquin and Angela have kept in touch with St. Laurent over the years hi. and saw him patrolling their neighborhood just the other day. We were going to stop and say hi but we didn't. And that was it. <laughs> Officer St. Laurent was struck and killed by a passing motorist, 56-year-old Susan Holloway, as he directed traffic at the 45th Street exit on-ramp to Interstate 95 South. He was part of a rolling roadblock for President Barack Obama's motorcade. I'm a parent of myself, and just to think if I were to go and, you know, Heartbreaking. Gone but not forgotten, St. Laurent's memory lives on in the hearts and homes of so many that he's helped over the years. Now, we did attempt to speak with the driver of that vehicle that hit the officer. Susan Holloway could not be reached for comment. Meanwhile, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office said that Holloway was not speeding at the time and did try to stop her vehicle before striking the officer. Tonight, we can tell you that the funeral arrangements for Officer St. Laurent are still being planned, yet they are not be ma being made available to the public just yet. Reporting live in Jupiter tonight, I'm Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5.